everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, as they say. So, it's a weekend away in the van. Guess where we're going? We're going to Brighton. Now, I really love Brighton, but I haven't been there for donkeys. Um, but we're staying, where are we staying again? In a Caravan and Motorhome club site. Right, now I'm not a massive fan of um, club sites at all. Well, this is the first time we've ever been to one of these, isn't it? It is. We don't really like camping in campsites that much because sometimes there's no space, is there? No, it's a bit in it, private, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, it, you know, it's a lack of privacy often, isn't there? But we're open-minded people and uh, we're going to give it a whirl. So, But it weren't cheap, was it, babe? How much was it? It wasn't. So for two nights with... Yeah. Uh, with um, uh, serviced site it was mm. 72 pounds 72 quid honestly i was like is a tight buffet coming with that <laughs> it's a bit it, wouldn't i it's like what i'm kind of hoping there's valet parking as soon as well you, you know <laughs> well anyway we'll, we'll try it out the Venom motorhome club's been going since 1907 and by all accounts they've got 3,000 locations including european locations now how much is it to join so it's 63 pounds for the year if you do an automatic renewal. Now, you can stop your automatic renewal, of course, and you can cancel at any time. Uh, it's £73 for a year to join if you don't take that option, and that includes a £10 joining fee. So we're about sort of uh, three or four miles away, and we're at the South Downs National Park. It talk about beautiful. It seems miles away from sort of a heady city like, um, a heady town like Brighton, doesn't it? Look how green it looks. Okay, so we're turning into the East Brighton Park. Cool. It's a bit of a tight turn, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Okay, cafe's open. So this is obviously where you drive in. So I think it must be up there, Gary. Yeah, it's further up where that black van's going. Okay, oh gosh, little bumps. It's right in the middle of a park, really, isn't it? Yeah. There's a, a cafe there to the left hand side that looks like the nearest thing to you okay this is a right old walk down to the beach isn't it well what i can see which is quite unusual i can see a couple of phone boxes now you don't really see them anymore so there you go all mod cons everyone phone boxes it's probably because there's no signal i'm going to reserve judgment this is what the site looks like there's no privacy in between pitches at all but they are nice, clean looking pitches, that's for sure. Okay, so it's really badly marked. You don't know where the hell you're going. So we think these are the red ones that, that we're allowed to pick on. But only on the right hand side. Well, only on the right hand side, looking at the map. Okay. So is that like a free one? Oh right. my God. No, there's just some stuff there. And I don't cable. know what number it is. Look, stop, let me find the number. If I can see the number. 31. Okay, right. Now I can look on the map and cross reference. I think this one's one of ours. It could possibly be one of ours. 149. 149. Hold on. Let me cross reference. Right. 149 is one of the red ones. Okay, so do we want to go and check the other place out? Yeah. I mean, I think they're all going to be six and two threes, personally. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't like this sort of site. There's nothing here either. Okay. Um... Okay, well, we know this one's here. Shall we go and see the others, see if it's any any better? Okay. So, you pick your pitch, which we just did, and then you have to go down to the office and tell her what you're having. And then, if you go out, you use your card to get in and out. But also, you've got to leave something on your pitch so that people don't take your pitch. So, we wondered why there was, like, um, reserve signs or whatever, um, just on, like people have put it on sort of a warning triangle type thing. Well, what else can you put? You're not going to leave anything there, are you? So that's what you got to do. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really sure. I like this. You're just turning up and you're just wandering around, seeing what's a free pitch. No, I'm. Uh, I'm very uh, underwhelmed for thirty-six pounds. I've got to be honest. Okay, so there yeah, there's a service point. Well, I just saw sort of service. It's just around the corner there, babes. I'm not going to follow him around the toilet thing is nice is there's like a little pizza guy just at the entrance where gary is just a oh god gary's going too far gary side of the building yeah gary's not feeling very well so he'll have gone straight past it um yeah i mean they're quite big pitches if you look and they're really straight really flat 
Um, but you are quite on top of each other. I don't know. Two nights. Hmm. And I ain't got no wine. So it's dripping all over the place. I'm not sure this is right. <laughs> Gary's just left it running. God I hope this is all right. I'm going to turn it off, I think. I'm a bit worried about it. Oh, it's spraying everywhere. I'll turn it off for a minute. I don't want that bloody overflowing in there. Is it it's filling up that slowly? I mean, I've just switched it off, babe. I don't know. Do you want to check it? See how far it is? Yeah, it's only nearly 75%. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I went to do the waste. Really slow. Oh, right. Okay, I'll switch it back on again. It just is spraying all over the shop, isn't it? No, Look at it. <laughs> that's just sprayed all over Gary. <laughs> Why is it like that? If we just do, we need a new thread or something on us. This is brand new. So why is it like that? Because this brass thing isn't very good. But surely that. Yeah, not. So perhaps we need a brass attachment. I'll I'll look for one. Do you need something to go onto it now? Possibly. My God, at thirty-six pounds a night. I know I keep going on about it, but it seems really, really dear to me. If this is your service point. So we've gone for pitch forty-three. And uh, it's quite uniformed. It's quite tidy. You can't, you can't knock the space on each pitch. There's quite a bit of space, and that's what people have to do. You've got to leave something if you're going out, because obviously we'll have to drive our van out. Oh my God, is that sloping? Well, let's find out. That's a that's a freaking slope. We're oh the ramp. God. Well, we got ramp? Oh, I can't be doing with bloody ramping it up. Oh, on the plus side, it's perfectly level. Oh, what facility should we go and have a look at first? The toilet or the bin? How about the pub? <laughs> there isn't a pub. <laughs> there isn't a pub. There's the, de there, there's the problem. I think if it had a pub, it would be a lot better. <laughs> it's miles from anywhere, it looks like, as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, I feel like I'm a wind jar, but... We're going to go and look and see what the electric fittings are. I think when you're paying 36 quid, yeah. you feel like you want something more, don't you, than, than what we've actually got. Yeah. The wood-fired pizzas are on at five o'clock, but we don't really need to be eating a bloody pizza tonight. We've already had Thai food at lunchtime. What did you just say to me? <laughs> there is a water tap here on the pitch. What? I say it's fully serviced, but when we booked in, he said, you've got one of those. Do you need water? So we said yes. And he said, oh, there's a water filling point just outside of the, the sort of the reception. So we, said, we fannied around, didn't we? Yeah. Trying to get on the right side because it was only a short hose and then the hose wouldn't fit. And and it's spraying all over the shop. And, and, and then there's actually on water on the pitch. <sighs> okay. What's, what, how do you feel so far? Um, it's not um, it's not filling me with, with hope that this is going to be a real fun weekend. And it might um, rain as well. Uh, I, I think it it'll be, be quiet. Um do we need to go to the shop and get any provisions? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking to myself, should we just manage with what we got and then go out tomorrow? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To save you mucking about. Now and I'd rather not be yeah. coming back in the dark. I really want to go to Brighton tomorrow, but I'm hoping it's going to not be raining. It looks a bit like it's starting to rain now, isn't it? It does. Um, I'm glad we had a little walk earlier, yeah. but maybe it'll feel better a bit later on, but I am very underwhelmed. Going to make a little chilli con carne for dinner. They've actually got some pizzas up there and we were thinking of getting one, but there's a huge queue and I couldn't be bothered to get in it. So I said to Gary, I'll come back and I'll make something. He's still not feeling 100%, so I'm going to do a chilli con carne. I've dosed him up with some medication. How are you feeling, Gary? Uh, not great, but <laughs> sooner we tackle it, the sooner I'll get better. I thought you were going to like play on that a little bit. Like I thought you were going to, you were going to be like acting super groggy <laughs> <laughs> when I said to toast you up. I gave my well, I gave my couple of like paracetamol type things. Anyway, so I'm going to get the dinner ready. Chili con carne for dinner tonight. Dead simple in the van, but aren't we lucky because we've got no like, decent hob actually. We've got good pans. I bought those in Spain a couple of years ago, and they're really good pans, and uh, that should be tasty. Gosh, here's the view then. Lovely rainy day. I'll take the fly squat off. Hmm. Yeah, camper vanning, motorhoming in the UK. <laughs> not necessarily for us, is it? <laughs> not really. Here he is. 
Here's the poorly one. We top and tailed last night, so he didn't have to breathe on me. Um, but it was quite comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah. It's quite late, actually. It's half nine, babes. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put the kettle on. All right. So, unfortunately, it's the early afternoon. Gary's still feeling crook. Look at him, bless him. He's trying to get some kib on, uh, on the sofa. You're not feeling good, are you, babe? No, not really. So, we've just been kind of stuck in the van, actually. So, I'm just going to go out. I'll show you the facilities and have a little stroll myself. But the weather's been rubbish as well. So... I'm not sure we can give a fair review of this campsite, but I'll tell you what, what we did notice is that we're paying the half term rate. So we paid like £36 a night because it's half term. I mean, I've, I don't I don't like the way campsites do that anyway. Um, have one fair price. You know, it's out of season for God's sake. No need to be charging £36 a night. Normally it's £25 or something you were saying, isn't it, bub? Yeah. So, you know, £11 more. £11 more. We haven't even got any kids. And I don't think that people that have got kids should be charged more just because it's half term because they get, they get fined if they take them out of school outside of term times anyway. So at least cut them a bit of slack. Um, so anyway, it should normally be about 25 Uh It's 36 Should we go and have a look at the toilets to see if they're nice and clean? So here's the laundry room. Let's go and have a look. Oh, God, there's got something hanging out the ceiling there. Right. So got one massive washer and one massive dryer. Okay, price-wise, you need tokens from reception and each token's a pound. A washing machine, a full wash is four tokens of four quid. A rinse and a spin is one token. Uh, it smells really clean in here and it is a big washing machine, so I'm not sure how much it will take, but lovely clean sink. Uh, well, two clean sinks and here's your dryer um tumble dryer tokens are available for a quid one to token so one token gives you 15 minutes of drying hmm. again it's a big one right there's a sign up here they're talking about ev vehicles so your electric vehicles they'll charge them nine pound a charge gotta let the site staff know when you get here we haven't got one i'll be surprised is anybody we know is anybody following us have you guys got an electric vehicle that you're charging electric motorhome hmm what do you think of them? The dishwashing area as well. Let's have a quick look inside of here. This one's always open. It's really clean. It smells like vinegar. Three sinks. Super clean, to be fair. So as you go around the block, so it's a massive sort of service block, if you will. Here's the ladies' toilet. They're closing. Wow, they close them from quarter past 10 till 12 o'clock. That's quite a long time to close. There's an ashtray for all you smokers. I don't smoke anymore, but uh, yeah. Foxes, please don't leave any food or shoes outside your unit or awning. Oh, so the foxes obviously like to wear your shoes. Let's have a quick look, see what they like. Okay. Oh, not bad. Here's your showers. Not bad at all. Really clean. Now, interestingly, they've got quite a few showers and some toilet cubicles. But they've also got like a changing area. So you can use the changing facilities. There's another shower. There's quite a few showers. Here's your toilets. It's all really clean. There's your showers. And here's like a one of those hair dryers. Oh God, you remember these? It takes you about 17 hours to dry your hair. And here we go. Look at these. These are like little cubicles where you can put your makeup on and stuff. That's quite nice, that. It says you expect. There's about sort of eight toilets. There's one accessible one that's quite large. They are what they are, aren't they? There's always an out of order one, isn't there? I tend to use the toilets in the motorhome more. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but these are actually quite clean. Very clean, mind you, for 36 pounds a night, you do sort of expect clean toilets. So they've got a couple of sinks by the door, but look at the size of these sinks. They're tiny. Like, put my hand in there. That fills the whole sink. I'm not saying I've got a giant hand, because I haven't really. But look, now wash your hands. The sinks are tiny. That's a bit strange. There's a couple of them as you come out. And they're right by the door as your entrance and exit is. So it's a bit in the way. That seems a bit strange. That is, that's the sink for when you've been to the toilet. That seems really odd. You'd be better off going to these little cubicles and using a little sink. Baby and toddler washroom. 
Uh, it's got a key code on that, so I expect you've got to get the code. And then there's a swing park over here. I won't film that, but that's quite nice if you've got kids. So this is a bit I never go in. This is the chemical waste point, and Gary would always go in here. Ooh. No, that's as far as I'm going. I haven't seen one of these working for years, and they do. By the sounds of it, work. I'm just going to dial it. Hang on. <gasps> it's got a dial tone. So they do actually work. Be prepared to use four coins to pay an initial minimum of 60p. Crikey, it's quite dear, isn't it? Information room. Let's go and see what they've got in here. Okay, this is really useful. They've got like the what three words here? Spices, active trick. Also, some of these are quite funny, aren't they? Uh, but they've got loads of information in the information room, including like they've got some folders that they've set up. And they sort of include things like local takeaways, bus stops, everything like that. It's brilliant. Somebody's really given this a bit of thought. Oh, there's a little safe there. I don't know whether that's for everybody. That seems a bit strange. But they've got sort of... Uh, this is the um, cafe that's just down the road. It's the closest one. It's called East Brighton Cafe. It's really well rated. They've got a 10% discount there as well. So that's really good. And they've got one of these book swap things. Well worth coming to have a look. I don't know what's in here. Freezer for guest use. Oh, freezer blocks are stored at owner's risk. Oh, right, so it's a, you put your little freezer box things in. That's quite good, that's handy. And they're really into the VW vans. Look, that's quite cool, isn't it? Right, just before the entrance gate, they've got this Chef Philippe artisan, this Chef Philippe um, kind of little coffee shop, really, but it does specials in the evening. So tonight, it's homemade burgers. Um, and they all serve them with uh, rose, rosemary oven potatoes and salad. 12 quid for the burgers. That's not bad. But it's got quite a good menu and it's not really badly priced. You're looking at coffees being three quid. Water's like 90 pence and everything. It's actually really good considering it's the, the nearest thing you've got here. Um, lovely little table set up. I bet it's really nice in the summer. Here's the entrance and it's uh, five miles per hour throughout the whole site, as you'd expect. And then just outside, you've got the uh, football club here. And you can keep hearing it. It's like, way. I was wondering what it was last night. It's um, football club. The daffs are coming up as you're walking along. And the sea's just over there. You can't really tell because it's the same colour as the sky, which is grey, grey, grey. So literally, just down the road from the campsite is that East Brighton Cafe. Now, I should have bought, a, I should have bought the um, discount thing if I'd have thought about it. But this looks quite good. It's really quite close. And then opposite to where that cafe is, there's a walkway there. And I think that will take you further into sort of where the marina is. And I think there's a few bits and pieces down there. But that's still a bit of a walk. And it's a bit rubbish on your own, actually, to be honest. But looking at all of this, this is really quite nice. If this is a really nice sunny day... You'd be alright to come down here. It's lovely as well to come down for something to eat. This doesn't open in the evening though. That's the only thing. I, I can get it. I think I quite understand why people like this site. It's pricey. Um, and if I was to come to Brighton again, I'd probably rethink it. Because I'd probably just try to stay as close to the front as possible, to be honest. So, as poor old Gary's not been very well, obviously, I went to go and get the burgers for us. But, how amazing are them burgers? They look nice, don't they? Yeah, you'll have to give them a try, babes. But uh, I was really impressed with that. All of that, we've got these two fabulous burgers and one of those really gorgeous homemade cakes for 27 quid, hun. Yeah, that's really good value, that is, babes. It is. Look at you in your little snuggly. I know, I'm cold. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, we're going to have something to eat now. But this will cheer you up. Oh, my gosh. Those burgers were gorgeous, weren't they, Gary? Yeah, it was lovely, that. Mm. We're going to have the cake now, which looks equally as gorgeous. I'm going <coughs> to cut it in half. But, Wow. If you're coming to this campsite, I honestly, you cannot miss that guy. Don't bring loads of food. Come and, and eat off of there because it is so good. You'll really enjoy that. Okay, results are in. So what do we think of this campsite, babes? Out of 10, what do you reckon? I'd give it a good strong eight. I reckon you're about right. Now, we came with a bit of a preconceived notion because we don't really like campsites. But I'm going to let's give it the good points for a start. So first of all, it's a very clean campsite. Mm. Secondly, all the facilities are excellent, really, aren't they? In terms yeah. of like emptying your waste, your bathrooms are really clean, mm -hmm. your electricity points. Your pitches are, are bigger than average on some places. Uh, there's no privacy in between is what I would say, but they are quite 
they are quite good pitches, aren't they? They are. But it was a rainy old weekend. Gary was sick as a dog all weekend, weren't you? You weren't very well. So we didn't manage to get anywhere. However, we spent a lot of time in the van and it looks to me like this is the sort of site where people come away for the weekend because they just want to be in their van. You spend a lot of money on these vans and they need somewhere to go. You can't often just rock up anywhere in the UK. So I do understand that we need to be coming to some of these sites. I've got one problem with this site. Now, we came and we didn't know that it's a half-term weekend. So we've come on half-term weekend and we've paid a premium for that, but we didn't realise. That seems a lot of money to me, extra. So another 22 quid for two nights. We haven't got children. And even those people with children, why should they have to pay a premium? It's out of season. So I think that it's a bit unfair to charge just because it's obviously the half term weekend. There was a bit of a washout. So if you've got bad weather, it isn't got a lot to do. So you're just spending time in your motorhome, which a lot of people want to do. We used to. We used to like sitting on the bloody driveway in ours, didn't we, Gary? Because <laughs> oh, we, we just loved being in it. So I understand that. We think this is a good site. Um, we did kind of think we weren't going to enjoy it. But actually, considering Gary wasn't very well, um, we didn't really, we didn't go anywhere. I went for a little bit of a walk. That's it. I thought this was a really nice weekend. And I'll tell you what I did think. They've got the best caterer on site. That guy's little cafe where we had those burgers Mm -hmm. last night. Yeah. Absolutely mint. If you're coming here, I would definitely, definitely recommend you spend a few quid in his place because his stuff is top notch. That's what makes this site um, an, an okay site to a great site. It's really jumped it up, hasn't it, babe? Yeah, it has. People that come here, really nice and quiet people. They keep themselves to themselves, from what I can see. Um, really dog friendly. There's a, I've met a couple of people while I'm here, and everybody's really, really nice, really friendly. So I would say, would we come back again, Gary? Yeah, I think we would. Yeah, we'd come back. We'd we'd probably only come back as a bit of a, a sort of a fill up and and stuff like that. But we do understand that we are lucky enough to be traveling full time. So really, we would go and look for a great view or a great adventure. Normally, you weren't very well, but if you need to have a, a nice quiet weekend away and you want to be near Brighton, I don't think you can go far wrong here, do you? No, I agree. Yeah, simply just pop your card in, don't you? At the end, yeah. Does it go in there or no? It taps there and then you drop it in there. Oh, you drop it in the box. Great and then you can come out this was the location in brighton that we stayed at and if you enjoyed this don't forget to give us a like maybe even leave us a comment or even the holy ground give us a subscribe whatever you do have a great week guys we'll see you next time and we'll be in europe